Hi, I'm Karen Gaudet. I'm a food reporter with the Seattle Times. Today, features reporter Nicole Song and I are going to test drive the Hook and Go. Hi, I'm Nicole Song with the Seattle Times, and we're here at the Columbia City Farmer's Market on a beautiful sunny day. We've got the Hook and Go with us, and we've already discovered its first fault, which is that you can't have bags that are too long because they'll drag on the ground. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we're going to buy some melons and squash and potatoes and other heavy items to give this thing a run for its money. So how are you feeling, Nicole, about everything we got so far? We've got a little bag of variety mixed potatoes. We have some eggs and a melon uh, in here already, and we're kind of worried about balance. Let go the stability. Not fantastic just yet. One of the things we do like about the bingo is that it's easy to maneuver once you get all of your groceries balanced and loaded correctly. But it's going to be really hard for it to ever surpass the radio flyer wagon in popularity at this farmer's market. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to get some.